Intel versus AMD. The story of these two competitors is a somewhat familiar story that we come across also often in the competitive business world. And lessons we can learn from it are similar to the fable of the tortoise versus the hare. There are many life lessons we can learn about the story, so stay tuned. Intel is a company that you no doubt have heard before, with its logo shining on many laptops and computers. AMD, on the other hand, or Advanced Micro Devices, is a company you may have never of heard before. But like Intel, they make computer chips, CPUs, and other essential computer components you will find in past PlayStations, Xboxes, as well as the upcoming PlayStation 5 and the Xbox X series. There is little to no doubt that you probably own an Intel-based device and you might be watching from one. However, Intel's dominance in the computer industry might well be fading and your next laptop or desktop may be running an AMD processor. I know mine will definitely be. So to understand what happened, we must go back to 2014. The year is 2014. AMD is on the brink of bankruptcy with its stock pricing trading at an almost all-time low. AMD advanced micro device is very painful day for this stock. AMD is, it's, it's still, it's, it's just it's surviving. Intel, as usual, is cruising along and dominating the computer industry. However, the tide turns when AMD appoints Lisa Su as CEO. JT, and I gotta tell you, I am truly honored and extremely excited to be able to lead AMD. Su graduated with a bachelor, master, and a PhD in electrical engineering from the prestigious MIT University, and she was determined to thing, turn things around. She designed a robot and began to focus on microprocessors and areas that AMD was traditionally good at, and betting that with time, its products will become more powerful and favorable with consumers and enterprise customers. Just like the tortoise, AMD started grinding away with research and development of its Ryzen CPUs, while Intel started to act like the hare, just cruising along with its 14 nanometer Intel processors that pro featured in 2014, 2015, 2016, and you guessed it, 2020 as well. The first Ryzen processors came out in 2016, and by 2020, the year we are in right now, the third gen Ryzen processors rivals Intel chips in terms of speed, but is built on the more efficient 7 nanometer process and with a cheaper price in pretty much all categories right from the cheapest Ryzen 3 to the Threadripper when compared to the Intel Core i3 to the Xeon processors. And with its next generation Zen 3 architecture Ryzen 4000 CPUs coming out, we expect it to be way better than Intel. Consumers, consequently, voted heavily against Intel with their money as AMD market share rose drastically, as did AMD's share price, hitting an all-time high of over $59 in February 2020, which is almost 30 times higher than the all-time low that occurred back in 2012. You might not be as interested in microprocessors, computers, CPUs as I am, but we all have a lesson that we can learn from this story. And that is, as a professional, individual, or student, we should always strive to be the best we can and continue to develop ourselves and never be too complacent like Intel was. Right? We want to be the AMD to keep striving to make better products, to be the better person um, in our field of expertise. Right? So if we don't, people are going to catch up and you'll eventually lose your speciality and it might be eliminated or become outdated like sort of Intel is slowly becoming. So overall, the lesson of this story is don't be the hare, be the tortoise.